Let's factor by grouping. Remember, we have to keep track of our A numbers, our B numbers, and our C numbers. Well, here A is 4, and B is negative 21, and C is 5. I write down the first term just the way it is, and I write down the last term just the way it is, but I have to make room in the middle to split negative 21s into two separate numbers because we have to have four terms to factor by grouping. So I am going to multiply a times C, that will give me 4 times 5, which is 20, and 20 equals 1 times 20, and I really don't have to factor any more. I mean, I could say 2 times 10 and 4 times 5, but I'm not going to, because 1 plus 20 is 21. Well, but, but it's positive 21. What am I going to do? Well, I meant to say 1 plus 20 equals 21. Well, I know what else I can do because positive 20 will equal negative 1 times negative 20. And negative 1 plus negative 20 equals negative 21, which is the number I need. So let's do that. I'm going to split 4s squared into, and I think I'll write this in red, 4s squared into minus 1s minus 20s. Now, there's a minus in the middle, and there's no way we can trade our terms around to not have a minus in the middle. So I'm going to have to do that <clears throat> minus in the middle trick. Here it is. I put the first two terms in parentheses. I have a minus in the middle, so I put the minus there. I put the second two terms in parentheses, but this plus sign has to become a minus sign because I have the minus in the middle. If there were a plus sign there, I wouldn't have to change signs, but there's a minus sign there, so I have no choice. Okay. Now, everything is normal. I'm going to have to pull out a greatest common factor from the first two terms and a greatest common factor from the second two terms. Both terms have an S in them in the first two terms. So I'll pull out an S and that will leave me 4S minus 1. In the second set of parentheses, since 20 is 4 times 5, and 5 is 5 times 1. Both terms have a 5. I'm going to pull out the 5, and I'll be left with 4s minus 1. Now, looking at the entire polynomial, I see that 4s minus 1 is the GCF of the entire polynomial. So I'll write down 4s minus 1, and then I'll write down the leftovers, which are s minus 5. Then, just to be sure, I check my work. 
I'm going to foil these, let me write an F and an O and an I and an L. First, outside, inside, last. Okay, with understood plus signs between these. So first is going to be 4s times s, which is 4s squared. Outside is going to be 4s times negative 5, which is going to be negative 20s. Inside is going to be negative 1 times s, which is negative 1s. And last, we'll have negative 1 times negative 5, which is going to be positive 5. The middle terms in this case, and in most cases in this class, are going to be like terms. They're both s terms, s to the first power. So I can add them. Negative 20s plus negative 1s is negative 21s. So I'll have 4s squared plus negative 21s plus 5. And whenever I add a negative 21s, that's just like subtracting 21s. So I'll write it that way because that's the normal way to write it. 4s squared minus 21s plus 5. And notice this is exactly what we started with. So I factored correctly, which means this is the factorization of this.